Ukrainian defense forces have eliminated another 1,400 Russian militaries in the past day, bringing the total losses of the enemy's army in personnel since the start of full-scale invasion to approximately 485,430 soldiers. Additionally, Ukrainian troops destroyed one aircraft and 11 enemy tanks, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. But although this, this morning, the Russian invasion forces stormed the settlements of Staromayersk, Krynky, and Robotyne but Ukraine's troops are firmly holding their ground. That's according to Dmitro Pletenchuk, chief of the Stratcom Center with Defense Forces South, who spoke on the air of the National Telethon, Ukrainform reports. This morning, they stepped up their efforts at all three of our locations, Staromayersk, Krynky, and Robotyne. There was one assault in each of those areas this morning but no positions were lost, Pletenchuk said. He added that yesterday, the enemy made 12 attempts to storm Staromayersk and 4, Krynky. According to Pletenchuk, the enemy combat losses in the past day was nearly the same as over the previous day, but the ratio of irreversible losses has tripled. That is, the intensity of the fighting was higher, although there were fewer assaults, he noted. The head of the Strategic Communications Center added that in the last two days, the enemy did not try to storm the island of Nestriha and that yesterday, the Russians focused their efforts on the settlement of Krynky. Over the past day, as Pletenchuk noted, the enemy attacked Ukrainian positions using unguided air missiles launched from a helicopter, which yielded no results for the adversary. The Russians also launched a ballistic missile, likely an Iskander, targeting an administrative building in Kherson. Over the past day, the enemy shelled settlements along the right bank of the Dnipro, where one civilian was killed. According to the official, both sides are actively employing drones and e-warfare systems. Every day, we see hundreds of drones swarming from both sides, and EWs are used by both sides, too. Our units also have appropriate cover, Pletenchuk said.